Hi folks, Electric Jen here, wanting to quickly explain to you how Tesla's active safety features probably just saved my behind a bit. If I look down, it's because I did take some notes, so I want it to be as thorough and accurate as possible, but here I am, uh, not yet having completed my evening commute, and something very curious just happened. So I'm driving on 95 um, in Philadelphia in the far right lane of a construction zone. So if you can picture it, instead of a shoulder to my right, there is a barrier. Um, my traffic was uncomplicated, both with the flow and the volume, the pattern. It was just, you know, kind of a normal, normal light summer evening commute. And I put on my turn signal and decided to make a lane change to the lane to my left. Um, you should note that I was not using autopilot at this moment nor any time during my commute, just, you know, driving home. So anyway, I pop on my turn signal and I presumably, you know, check my blind spot, turn my head, look in the mirror, do all those things that you normally do without thinking much to change lanes. Again, I was just gonna move to my left. As I was making that lane change, my steering wheel on the Model 3 sort of gently just was like, nope, you're not gonna do that, and pushed me back into my lane. And it was like a really gentle thing. It wasn't very startling. Um, and like I said, there was no shoulder to my right. There was no extra space for error. It was just a concrete barrier, but the car kind of gently and slowly just brought me back to my lane. So I had the, the presence of mind to quickly look in my mirror and see this car, um, a BMW, an aggressive lane changer, as it may, with a turn signal on telling me that he or she had just gotten into my blind spot as I was making that lane change. Now, I didn't see them until after the car had moved me. Would I have seen them otherwise? Maybe, possibly, probably. Would they have seen me? Maybe, possibly, probably. Would we have collided? Maybe, possibly, probably. Um, hard to say. Hard to say how far into the lane change I really was. Hard to say how far you know into the lane change he or she was or how close we were. All I know is I went to go make a lane change. My car very gently brought me back to the other side and said, Nana, not today. I spotted in my mirror a, a newly appeared car that wasn't there before. And then I quickly looked down to my screen and saw that it actually said, corrective steering applied for your safety. And that sort of told me what just happened. Um, yeah, so the car moved itself for me, said not today, no collision on my watch, knew what was happening well before I did. And again, I can't say whether I would have corrected it in time or the other driver would have corrected it in time. All I know is we both were trying to be in the same place at the same time, a collision may have resulted and my car for sure did a very gentle but effective evasive maneuver to put me right back into my lane. Um, you know that like new, you know, near miss feeling that you get when something happens in the car and your heart is kind of pounding? I don't have that and I didn't have that because it was really, really gentle. I mean, more gentle than even, you know, the AP lane changes can sometimes be, especially earlier on in the, in the life of the software. So I just wanted to mention my experience while it was still fresh in my mind that I was just driving, tried to make a lane change, somebody was in my way at the moment and the car corrected, you know, correctively steered for me to put me back into my lane in a very, very safe and gentle way, you know, no harm, no foul for anybody involved. And to the lane changing BMW, who I'm certain got into my blind spot after the fact, two things to tell you. One, stop putting yourself into people's blind spots on purpose. And secondly, I saw you aggressively changing lanes for like the next five minutes. So yeah, pretty sure you weren't there when I went to go make that lane change, buddy. But again, just sharing my experience. Um, Tesla's doing a really, really great job with this stuff. You know, they're gonna get there. Full self-driving is gonna be feature ready sometime in the near future. Whether the road conditions and the regulatory approval will follow is anybody's guess. But I wanted to send a real kudos to the Tesla team and to everybody who is thinking of driving a Tesla or who already does drive one that has the current hardware in it or even I think I just have the 2.0, not the 2.5. You know, I don't have the full self-driving one that, you know, good things are coming, good things are already here, and I feel much safer for it. Bye.